Hey, welcome back. So today we're gonna make a really cheap and easy initiative tracker. So you need your hot glue gun, some hot glue, a Sharpie, uh, a small skull, plastic hollow in the side, or not hollow, but it's gotta have some weight to it to where you can put some weight into to it if you need to. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, you need a little funnel, a cutter. I got a wood dowel here. Uh, I got this from Lowe's, but if you don't want to use a wood dowel, go to your closet, pull out a hanger with one of them really thick cardboard uh, cross pieces on it for hanging pants. You can use that. It's a little bit wider than that, but will work just as well. Clothes hanging pins, which I got those from Dollar Tree, and some sand, which I got from the beach. So, First thing we're going to do is get our hot glue get nice and hot. And we're going to take this skull and put some sand in it so it has some weight to it. So it won't be easily tipped because this is really light. It's hollow. This also glows in the dark. It's Halloween time. You know, Dollar Tree's got a lot of neat Halloween stuff that you can get for a buck. Uh, just maybe decorate your gaming area, or to use for crafting, or to put in your game. But what we're going to do is turn this over. We're going to take this funnel, put it in there. And we are going to fill it with sand. I'm not going to fill it all the way. But I won't to at least fill it halfway. All right, that should do it. All right, so now that you got it filled, you wanna check where the holes are, which there's a little hole here in the jaw. I don't know if it's on all of them. And then there's the hole you filled. So, we want to hot glue that up. Just push it in that little small hole. Work it in there. All right, and for this one, just start closing it up. All right, if you drip some down in there. And if that's not working too good, get you a lid from a bottle. Cut the center of it out. Leave some more hot glue on there. Place that on there. And with the hot glue still sort of hanging in there, go ahead and turn it upside down and let that weight get on there. And you don't glue it to the bottom of whatever you're setting it on. Make sure it's not gonna stick, it's dry enough. Cause you don't want it to stick and then pull it out and it pulls that plug out and you got sand everywhere. Half full of sand, good weight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure sort of what will take this to stand straight. I think it'd be about right here. And then we're gonna look, make sure that's pretty center. And then what I was thinking about doing is when I cut this, I'm not gonna actually cut a hole. I'm just gonna cut an X. And then I'm just gonna take the dowel and push it through. All right. So now, and you can just sort of straighten it out. It looks pretty level, pretty straight. Look at that, a nice little lean. And the sand's enough weight in there 
where it pops back in. Now we want to seal it up with hot glue around here. All right, we'll let that dry. Now you can get all fancy on these. You can paint them, or if you just wanna make this quick and just wanna make it to where you can keep up with stuff, get your marker, and let's just say werewolf or orc. And maybe you have more than one orc, so you can put orc number one. Orc two. Now maybe you have an NPC that gets involved in something, so you're going to want to say, you know, an NPC. And you can also, maybe you'll have more than one NPC, you can put number one. NPC one. Now for your characters, uh, your players, you can either A, put their uh, character's name, or you can put their name. I'll use mine, so Chad. So now you can know whose turn it is. So then all you have to do then is place them on here. And then when it's who's ever's turn, after you pop them on here, they pop on nice and easy, come off nice and easy. They can be moved. Then after it's someone's turn, I go first. So I'm done with my turn. You as a DM can move it. It's the werewolf's turn, he's done. It's the orc. It's the NPC, it's the other orc, and then you just start back again, and you can pull them back around as you go. If you're going through, and the orc's like, I'm gonna hold my turn, you can move it in the opposite direction. And then he can go. So on, on this dial, it, these clothes hangers fit right on there with that little groove. So it makes them easy to turn. If you use the coat hanger part to, instead of the wood dial, it might be a little bit too wide for the smaller clothes hangers to fit on. Uh, you can find some bigger clothes hangers maybe to work with that, but I'm not sure what size this wood rod is, so I picked it up a long time ago and I've been just finding, trying to find a use for it. You got it, it's, it's sure it rocks a little bit, but it's not tipping over. If you want, you can put more sand inside to make it even heavier. Like this is, this is only filled to his jawbone basically. But remember, just leave you, if you're gonna fill it up, leave a little bit of room so you can push the wood, wood rod down into it. Cause you want that to go all the way and secure in there. But there you have it. A really quick initiative tracker you can paint them you can decorate it up you know paint it color wise you know maybe put your players a blue all your players are blue NPCs can be yellow bad guys are red and in that way when they're all off and cluttered up the colors will stand out you can grab the colors because I'm looking for an NPC one maybe put something on top maybe like it was a spear going through its head you can run some hot glue to where it's dripping down his side, paint that red, get some red hot glue and just let it dribble down. Makes it look like maybe he was impaled, like his head's on a pike. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, paint any color you want. Uh, you can even go through and put some little bitty holes in his eyes, get some LED lights, put you a battery pack in here, have a little switch on the side to where it turns on and lights up. And right now they got Halloween LED lights at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. All right, so if you like this quick little video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Tell your friends about me and the table calls. Keep gaming.